There we go. All right. So if you didn't hear me before, um, I want you all to grab some weights for today's workout. If you have some dumbbells at home, that would be great. If not, um, you can use some gallon jugs of water. Some cans are fine. Um, anything that's going to give you some resistance. So we're going to do a total body workout today, just like we do in the studio. Um, however, since we don't have a lot of upper body equipment, and I'm not sure if a lot of you have weights, it's primarily lower body focused, but we'll target those arms for sure. So I'm supposed to start out with a positive focus every day um, that I train you guys. So my positive focus, let me grab it, is that um, so my girls and I have made kindness rocks. And I don't know if you're all familiar with those, but you simply find rocks in nature, you paint them, and then you write notes of inspiration or notes of kindness that will lift someone's day. Um, we placed them in Grassy Pond in Westford, which is a small hiking trail. Um, it's a great hiking trail that local families go around where we live. And somebody uh, admitted our story into the newspaper. Um, so there's our sign, some of our rocks, and that's Grassy Pond. And what was written was that a father and a daughter went hiking together and they found some notes of inspiration that they needed at just the right time and it lifted their day. So I am so happy that our kindness is spreading, especially during this difficult time. And that made us all so happy. So we continue to spread those kindness rocks through the hiking trail and it gives the kids something to do on the gloomy days. Um, all right, so we are going to get going. You ready? Uh, modify if you need to. If anything feels uncomfortable, remember, don't do it. Um, I hope you can all see me. Um, we're going to start with a squat into a reverse lunge, okay? So your toes are going to be forward, your chest is lifted, your abdominals are tight. And what we're going to do, I'll give you a side view first. Before we start, you're going to squat. One leg comes back to lunge. Reverse back to squat, opposite leg comes to lunge, okay? That's what it's going to look like. All right, so you can grab some weights if you want to added resistance, um, or you don't need any weights at all. All right, ready? Set it up. Abs are tight, toes are forward. Sit in those heels, good. Lunge it back. Sit in those heels, nice deep squat. Lunge it back. Good, my chest is up. Awesome. You do not want to lean forward. Good, lunge, squat, sit in those heels, one that comes back, squat it down, sit in those heels, excellent. Squat, reach your glute back as far as you can during that squat, okay? Very important. Also, you'll notice I'm staying down low. I'm never fully coming up to extension. So when I squat, my legs are bent, I lunge, my legs are bent, I return to my squat, and I have not extended those legs. Good, we have four, we have three, we have two, last one. Good, bring it up, shake it out. Great job. All right, ready? Second set, I'll give you a side view on these. Toes are forward, chest is up, we're looking ahead. Sit in the heels, lunge. Good, squat, opposite leg, lunge. Squat it back, lunge down. Sit in those heels, chest is up. Back knee comes straight towards the ground as we're lunging, remember. Good, lunge it down. Squat, lunge. Sit in those heels, feel those muscles working. We're targeting the lower body. Awesome, sit back, lunge. Squat, back knee comes towards the ground. Last one. Good, bring it up. Take a rest. Good job. All right, we have one more set of those. Okay, toes are forward, hips width apart. Ready? Sit in those heels, squat. Lunge it back, good. Sit in those heels, squat. Lunge it back. Excellent. Again, I'm staying low throughout. I'm never coming all the way up. That keeps my quads engaged. 
I don't want to give them a second to rest. Good. Sit it back. Go lower if you can. Challenge yourself in your squat. Good. Squat it down. Lunge. Drive those heels. Good. We have four. We have three. We have two. Last one. Great. That definitely woke our legs up, right? All right. Grab your dumbbells if you have them. If not, you can use some cans or some water bottles. We're going to do an exercise that's called circles. So what I do is I stand with my palms facing in and I circle up and around and then I control all the way back down, okay? Sorry, my screen's getting a little messed up. Okay. So grab your weights. Palms are here. Abs are tight, chest is lifted. Circle up and around, control on the way down. Great. Up and around, control on the way down. Now I'm a little bit in front of my body while I'm working these, okay? So I'm working the shoulders, the chest, the core. Good. Circle it up and around. Nice control, engage the abs, especially as you're lifting overhead. And my palms stay in the same direction the entire time I'm circling. So we have two. And last one, up and around. Good job. Take a little rest. Excellent. If you have gallon jugs of water, you can do the same thing, bring it up and around with those, okay? They work just as good. And you'll have pretty much equal resistance as you would with dumbbells. All right, we'll start again. My palms are facing in. My abs are tight, my chest is lifted. Slight bend in my knees and go. Up and around, control down. Good. We're working on toning the upper body. Primarily those shoulders. Good job, breathe. Exhale, bring it up, touch those weights overhead. Control as you lower. Good, bring it up. Overhead, control as you lower. Don't let momentum just bring you back down. Good, you guys are doing great. Wonderful, we have one more repetition. Up and around. Good, bring it down. Awesome, so not only does that target shoulders, but your pectorals and your chest too. So that's such a great exercise. A lot of people will flip their palms while doing it. Try not to do that. Okay, that's the number one biggest mistake I see most ladies do. All right, we ready? Last set. Palms are in and go up and around. Great. And if you do have weights at home, you can go onto uh, the Discover GISFW YouTube page or any of your studio Facebook pages and find the upper body workouts that are with weights. They're all posted there for you to watch. All right, good ladies, bring it up. Control as you lower, awesome, bring it up, squeeze. Good, control as you lower. We have three to go, that's three. Excellent, that's two. And ready, last one, best one, get it up. Excellent. All right, next we're gonna work on some dips. So find a chair, a couch, a bench, a step, anything that you have in your house. I'm gonna move my camera so I can give you guys a good angle of my dips and what they look like. So I'm gonna rotate my chair to the side here. So dips are an awesome exercise to target mainly those triceps, okay? So I hope you all found a place to use. My hands are facing forward, so my palms are here. I'm bringing myself up off the bench. I keep my back as close as I can to the bench. My weight is on my heels. Bend my elbows, squeeze all the way up, okay? Ready, go. Bend it down, squeeze it up. Bend it down, squeeze it up. If you want more of a challenge, 
straighten your legs. Good, most important part, like I said, see my back? It's nice and close to my chair. I'm not way out here. You wanna keep it there. Good, each time I press through my palms, I extend my elbows, and I squeeze the back of my arm as tight as I possibly can to engage those triceps. Good job, bring it down, squeeze it up. We have two more. Excellent, last one. Good, take a brief little rest. Okay, so when I'm bending my elbows, my palms are here, and I'm extending and squeezing. If it's too difficult, you can keep your feet close to you, like this, okay? All right, we'll set it up for set two. Core is tight, chest is lifted, my neck is neutral, and go, bend the elbows, squeeze the arms. Bend, extend. Each extension, I really make sure to squeeze those triceps, ladies. Good, you know those tricep muscles. The flabby wave, we don't want any flabby waves. Good, bend, extend it up. Awesome, breathe, exhale, find power with each repetition. Bring it down, squeeze it up. Bring it down, squeeze it up. Good, that's three, make them count. Bend, extend, that's two. And last one, good job, take a rest. Check out those arms. Um, dips are usually safe for anyone, unless you have a shoulder impingement like a rotator cuff. Sometimes it can feel a little uncomfortable. So just be mindful with that. You may need to decrease your range of motion. All right, ready? Last set. Go, bend, extend. Good, bend, extend. Keep that back close to the bench. Down, press through those palms. Down, exhale on the way up. Good job, ladies. Good, bring it down, squeeze it up. Down, squeeze it up. Good, five more, that's five, make them count. Four, that's three, that's two, and last one. Great job. All right, good work. All right, we're going to go into some lunges with a reverse kickback, meaning that I'm going to be targeting uh, the back of my legs a little bit here. Okay, so let me just adjust this again. All right, make sure I'm in your line of view. Perfect, all right, so my lunge looks like this. I start in a stationary lunge, I come straight down, I take my back leg, I kick it up. So straight down, I kick it up. If you have weights and you want some resistance, hold those weights. Okay, ready ladies, my left foot is in front, my right foot is on my toe, my core is tight, my chest is lifted, either weights or arms at my side. Bend the right knee towards the ground, squeeze, my squeeze comes from my glute and my hamstrings, and come down, squeeze it up. Down, squeeze it up, good. Keep it going. This is also going to challenge your balance and your stability. Good, down, bring it up. Down, squeeze it up. I kick, my foot is flexed, straight up towards the ceiling. Good job. I feel that left quad starting to burn out. Good, we have three. Excellent, two. Last one, good. Excellent job, shake it out. All right, I set up my second side. My weight is in my right heel. My left foot is back on my toe. My chest is lifted and I'm going straight down, keeping up. Down, squeeze it up. Good. Excellent job. Down, squeeze. Kick straight up towards that ceiling. My heel is coming up, I feel my glute working. Good, remember your weight is in your right heel. If this is too much for you, just stick with your stationary lunge. Good, breathe. Good, that's three, that's two, last one. 
Great job, bring it up and rest. All right, back to the left. Left leg in front, right leg is on my toe. And go, my right knee comes straight down. I kick towards the ceiling, down, kick it up. Go down, kick it up. Excellent. Good, squeeze from the back of the thigh and that glute. 90% of my weight. Remember, to my front leg. My core is tight, my chest is lifted. This will help me with my balance. Good, down, press it up. Down, kick. Good, we have four. That's three. That's two. And last one, great job. All right. Last and final set on those lunges. My right leg is in front. My left foot is on my toe. Nice alignment, ready. Left knee comes down, squeeze. Go down, squeeze. My weight is in my right heel, breathe. Good, kick it straight up. Land with it bent. Good, challenge yourself, get low. Woohoo! Feel the burn. Excellent. Good, keep it going, ladies. It's our last set of these. And we have four. And we have three. And we have two. Last one, bring it down and squeeze it up. Great job. All right, we're going to go down to the mat. So find a place on the floor. And we're going to get into a straight arm plank position here, okay? So my straight arm plank. So straight arm planks, they work primarily your shoulders and your core. We're gonna add a little leg to this, okay? This is what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna bring one knee in towards my opposite hand, extend my right leg up, then tap. Then left leg in towards opposite hand, extend up, then tap. Let me just fix that camera angle a bit for you guys. There we go, it's pretty better. All right, ready? Arms lined up underneath shoulders, abs are tight, hips are low, no hips up in the air. Keep them down. Ready, go. Right knee in, kick up, tap down. Left knee in, kick up, tap down. Right knee in, squeeze, tap. Left knee in, squeeze, tap. Right knee in, squeeze, tap. Left, squeeze. Now as I'm rotating, you can see I'm dipping my hips. I get my hips down and across as I bring my knee in. That engages my obliques even more so. Good, we have one more on each side. Twist, squeeze up. Last one, squeeze up, good, take a rest. Between your rest of planks, feel free to sit back in child's pose position. Just stretch out those arms and the back a little bit. All right, we're gonna do the same thing with that good twist of the knee and the kick back. Okay, hands are down, aligned up right underneath my shoulders, not in front, not behind. On the toes, abs are tight. I drop my hips, I squeeze my core, and I go. Twist, kick it back. Twist, kick it back. Make that twist count. Good, twist, kick it back. Twist, kick it back. Good, get good rotation of those hips. Rotate it, kick it back. Rotate, kick. My kick is a squeeze from my glute. Good. That's making all my core stabilizers I have to work extra hard as I'm working my shoulders to hold me up. Good, last one. Good, take a little rest. Excellent job. Take a break. Child's pose if you want. Grab a drink of water anytime throughout this workout. Remember, I want you guys to stay as hydrated as possible. All right, ready, set two. Hands lined up, I mean, just three, sorry. 
Okay, ready? And go. Twist. Squeeze. Good. Twist. Squeeze. Core is tight. My hips dip under. Good. Squeeze. Extend. Squeeze. Extend. Good job. Kick it back. Squeeze. Extend. Squeeze. Extend. Hips are low. Good. Final set of these. Great. One more on each side. Squeeze back. Bring it under. Kick it back. Great. All right. We'll flip over onto our backs for some butterfly sit-ups. Your butterfly sit-ups, your legs are going to be in a wide position. So knees are open. My feet are together. My hands are behind my head. For my first set, I'm going to switch your crunches each, each set. So set number one is butterfly. I'm going to bring my upper body and my lower body up. I touch my elbows to my knees. Then I tap everything back down. Okay? So ready, set it up. Heels together, knees are out. Hands not clasped, just behind the head, and go. Bring it up. And tap down. Up. Tap down. You'll notice I'm getting a little bit of a hip lift. As I bring my elbows towards my knees, I'm bringing my hips up. Good. Exhale. Excellent. Good. Keep it going. Crunching straight up towards the ceiling. We're combining upper and lower abdominals here. Good. We have four. Exhale. Three. Two. And last one. Good job. All right, our next set are going to be heel taps. My feet are lined up underneath my knees. I crunch my body and my arms are long by my side. I push my back into the mat. I'm going to get as much rotation as I can to reach for my heels, okay? So ready? My feet are together this time. Crunch up, lift those shoulders off the mat. Arms long and go. Reach. If you can get your toes, get your toes. I'm twisting at my obliques. Reaching as I crunch. Good. If you can reach your heels, reach your heels. If you can't reach your heels, reach your knees. Good. Head is up. Core is tight. Twist. Good. I'm getting big rotation on my sides. Keep twisting. Abs are tight. Good job, ladies. Keep going. Reach. Think about the core. The more you can tighten the core, the better. We have four. We have three. We have two. And one. Good. Bring it down. Stretch it out long. Wonderful job. All right. Our next set, we're going to do low abs. Arms are down. I place these, my hands gently underneath my buttocks. My legs come up nice and straight. I'm going to lower my legs down. And I'm going to scissor kick. My legs stay long. My knees are not bent. A modified version would be a bicycle. Okay? So you would bend the knees, bring them in. Okay, ready? Legs are long. Lower it down and go. Good. Nice scissors. My abs are tight. Good. Scissor. Kick faster. Kick harder. Push the back down. Abs stay tight. Good. Keep kicking. Kick. Kick. Good. Nice little flutter kicks. The lower you go, the more you're challenging your core. However, if you feel it in your back, bring your legs higher, okay? I don't want you to feel it in the back. Good. Keep going. Breathe. Breathe. Kick it out. Kick it out. Kick it out. Awesome. Ten seconds. Breathe. That's five. That's four. These are slow seconds. Breathe. Two, last one, good job. Hug those knees into the chest. Stretch it out long. Excellent, and slowly roll yourself up. We're gonna come back up to standing. All right, we're gonna do some uh, plies. We have two options. So in your plie, your toes are pointed out. We're nice and wide. You can either just squeeze it up and down, feeling free to add some resistance, or we're gonna be in our plie. We're gonna hop forward, touch the ground, hop back, touch the ground, okay? 
In our halt, we stay down low the whole time. Okay, so option one or two, you pick. Ready? Toes are out, 45 degrees, chest is lifted. Knees are down, good. Little hop forward, touch the ground, good. Hop back. Good, forward, back, forward, back. My weight is in my heels. My glutes are getting down nice and low. Good. I'm feeling those inner thighs working. These are called frog jumps. Good. I'm not hopping very big. It's about three to four inches forward, three to four inches back. That's it. I'm landing with soft knees. Good. We have three. We have two. We have one. Good. Bring it up. Shake those legs out. We're also working on getting our heart rate up. Remember, our heart is a muscle. We want to work that muscle as well. Okay, ready to set up set two. My legs are wide. My toes are out. Remember, simply plie up and down and hop forward and back. Ready? Go. Hop it forward. Bring it back. Good, you'll notice my chest is lifted. I'm not leaning forward. Good, weight is in the heels. Tiny little range of motion here. Good. Burn out those inner thighs. They should be burning. Keep working through it. Your mind quits before your body does. Good, breathe. Excellent. We have four. We have three. We have two. Last one, good job. Bring it up, shake it out. Those are so great. I always feel them. And as you know, those inner thighs are one of the hardest parts to tone. So this exercise is perfect. All right, take a deep breath in. Exhale, set three, close her out. Ready, go, hop it forward and back. Good, tiny hops. Great. Stand in those heels. Otherwise, you're staying stationary. Just squeezing up and down. Never locking out the knees. Good, weight always in the heels. Good, forward. Bring it back. Forward. Bring it back. Forward. Bring it back. Forward. Bring it back. You have four. You have three. We have two, last one, good. Shake it out, there's our last set of those. Grab a drink, I'm gonna grab a drink. We have one more exercise. All right, we're gonna do a burpee. We're gonna add two plank jacks to the first one. And then you have the option. So option one is arms are up, come down. Plank jack, plank jack, knees are in, pop it up. Or option two is modified burpee, which is still awesome. Arms are up, come down, legs back, tap, tap, stand up. Okay, so you choose impact or non-impact. Most important part, core is tight, weight in your heels when you stand up, okay? All right, ready ladies, arms up, good. Bring it down, plank jack, plank jack, squeeze it up, good, down, jack, jack, knees in, squeeze it up, good, jack, jack, legs in, squeeze it up, down, good, jack it out, tuck my knees in, reach it up, down, flat, tap, knees come in, up, good, keep it going, excellent. Good, down, jack it out, legs in, and up. Good, jack it out, legs in, last one. Jack, jack, knees in, and up, good job. All right, second set, we're going to do a burpee to a static hold. So my arms are up, I come down, I kick back, and then I show my hands up, and I stay in that squat. I never stand up. We're working on burning out the quads and the glutes. Okay? So ready? Arms are up. And go. Kick it back. Heels. Hands come up. Good. Kick it back. Heels. Hands come up. Good. 
Excellent. So I stay low on my heels. Good job. Stay low on my heels. Great. Chest is lifted. Good. Breathe. Find your energy. Find your focus. We tackle the day. Awesome. Abs are tight. We have four. We have three. That's two. And last one. Good. Bring it up. Shake it out. All right. Last set. Because I always need to mix it up to keep it interesting. Burpee. Two jumping jacks. Back to burpee. Okay? It's going to look like this. Arms are up. Okay, come back. Hit in. One, two. Okay? Again, if you're doing the no impact, walk it back. Stand it up. Then one, two. Okay, ready? Arms are up. Go. Take it back. One, two. Good. Out your tight. One, two. Down. Get back. Keep in. One, two. And remember, go at your own speed. If I'm going too fast for you, go at your own rate. Good. One, two. Back. In. One, two. Back. In. One, two. Core is tight. Press through those heels. You're getting the heart rate up. We're burning some calories. Good. Last two. Make them count. Good. One, two. Last one. Make me proud. One, two. Awesome. All right. You can march it out to bring that heart rate back down. Feel free to stretch as well at any point in time. Um, any type of stretches, some yoga, some meditative work to keep your body healthy and lean. Um, so my tip for the day will be, I want you to avoid simple carbohydrates. Anything that's white, white bread, white potatoes, white rice, cereals, crackers, cookies, any baked goods, anytime you eat any of those, your body interprets them as sugar and they're automatically stored as fat. We're not going to use them. Our body uses complex carbs, which have fiber and whole grains for energy. We do not need the simple carbs. They lead to disease, they lead to high blood pressure, they lead to obesity, diabetes, you name it. So I want you to be mindful and when you're at the grocery store, Shop the perimeter of the grocery store. Avoid those inside aisles, okay? Avoid the simple carbs as much as possible, and that will help you feel better. I promise. Thank you for joining me today. I will see you guys back tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., and have a wonderful day. Thank you.